it's Ashley from Get Fit with Ashley. I'm here with Bo and Trixie, and we are happy to see you. Welcome to your 20 minute balanced strength workout. Balanced strength, yes. <laughs> it sounds like a lot going on, and it is. Okay, you're gonna need some dumbbells today. I have 10, 15, and 20 pounds here. That's 4.5, 6.8, and 9.1 kilograms respectively. All right, so you're gonna get some weights out here because we're gonna be working balance with every move, but also lots of strength here, lower and upper body strength. Okay, so you will need a couple different weights. This is a workout that's part of my elevation series. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that in a minute as we get started with warm up. But elevation to you and to me means one thing. Let's bring it up a notch, all right? So go get some of those heavier weights off the shelf, dust them off, they're for you, and let's have a spread out here so that we can elevate with every move. All right, let's get started with a quick warm up. I'll tell you more about the workout and more about elevation. All right, hands on your hips. Okay, so today's workout, Balanced Strength, is a 20 minute workout. It is a no repeat workout. We're gonna be working for 40 seconds with 20 seconds rest in between moves. So at the top of every minute, other way, we're switching exercise. It'll be a new exercise. Now with balance, we're gonna be working alternating feet, okay? So all this workout is done on one foot. All right, so every minute we'll change feet so we don't get too tired. Um, as I said, this is part of my elevation plan. You can go and get the free two-week elevation plan on my website, getfitwithashley.com slash plans, and you'll see my plans there. This one here is an intermediate level plan, and there are 12 workouts, and they're all unique. They're all different. They're all 20 minutes, and they're all no repeat workouts, and every one of them offers you an opportunity to elevate your game. I created the elevation plan for people like you who are looking to bring their fitness to the next level. You know the basics, you've been working out for a while, but now it's time to really challenge yourself, okay? So if that sounds like you, and you're ready to challenge your limits, enhance your performance, and achieve new goals, let's do this. That's all I got to say, let's do this. All right, so welcome, welcome. I am so glad you're here. Are you on my world map? Have you noticed my world map here behind me? Maybe it's the first time you're hearing it. If so, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from, city, state, country. I've got push pins to put in my world map to represent my awesome YouTube subscribers and my in-person training and group fitness clients. So I'd love to add one to represent you, okay? All right, we're doing a full body warm up here. So we're gonna be lifting, we've got upper body, we have core, we have lower body. We have it all in this balanced strength workout. You may notice too, I have a chair here. There is one move toward the end where you may want to get a chair, okay? Or an ottoman or something to sit on and off of. If you don't have it, it's not a problem, but if you have one, you wanna go and get it, go and get it now. We're starting in about 30 seconds. We're gonna do some moves on the chair. Also, with balance, it's not a bad idea to have a chair or something like that around that you can hold onto, okay? All right, Laura, welcome. Great to have you. Yes, Laura is on the world map too. All right, all right, just loosen up your low back here and we're gonna get started. We are starting with single leg deadlifts. If you've got a bunch of weights, grab your heavies because that's where we're starting. Palms toward you. Left leg up, right leg slightly bent. This is a single leg deadlift. And come on up, good. Can you do this without touching the ground between each move? If not, not a problem, but challenge yourself for a couple of reps to balance through this movement. Inhale down, exhale up. You can do it. Inhale down, nice straight back. Exhale up. Whoops. Three, two, rest. Good. Whew. That's a tough one to get started with. Good. We're gonna do it on the other side, all right? So it's gonna be a single leg deadlift. I want you to keep your back straight. 
Let your weights pull you down, but not rounding your shoulders. All right, let's get that single leg deadlift. This time your right leg is up, left leg supporting. Let's go, 40 seconds. Inhale down, exhale stand. Good, all the way up and all the way down. <sighs> nice job, you can do it. Focus on form and on balance. Not speed, not number of reps. You've got to go slow or else you're using momentum and you're not getting a balanced strength workout, okay? Take a rest, good. All right, I'm gonna go down on my weight for the next one. We are going to just simply stand on our right foot. Left one is elevated. We have Arnold presses overhead. All right, so for 40 seconds, we are standing. Palms in, left leg up, let's go. One foot, the whole time. If you're just getting started on balance work and it's very tricky for you, kick stand your left foot. Show you what that means, right here, toe down. Toe on the floor, but most of your weight He's got to be on that right leg. Oh, yes. I feel my leg burning, my foot. That's what it's about. Good. Ankle stability all the way on this workout. Good. All right, I'm going down my weights again. Going to my lightest ones. We have serving biceps. We're going to be standing this time on our left foot. Raise the right. We are serving bicep one at a time. Okay? Here we go. Exhale with every serve. Palm up to the sky. On your balance. It's okay to wiggle and wobble a little bit. That's normal. You're not a statue. Okay? What we want to prevent is falls. As long as you can recover from the wiggles and wobbles, you're doing very well. Almost there. Rest. Very good job. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a reverse lunge to a knee lift. We're gonna take our left leg back, okay? Arms are gonna be doing a lateral raise. Reverse lunge, knee lift. And I want you to get your balance before you go for that next rep, okay? So slow down. Ready, left foot. Back for the reverse lunge, up for the knee lift. Make sure you have your balance before you go back for the next rep. <sighs> Woo! Balance, strength. What an opportunity to elevate, really. As if these moves aren't tough enough on their own. We're adding 40 seconds of single leg balance. <sighs> so tough. Take a rest. We're gonna repeat that by doing reverse lunges with our right leg back, but instead of a lateral raise, we're raising out to the front. Palms in, palms facing one another. Reverse lunge, right leg back, front raise, palms together. Ready? Here we go. Get your reverse lunge, chest up, balance. If the weights become too much, use one weight. Use no weights, okay? Halfway. Almost there. Woo, the burn. Rest. Woo. Next one up. We're gonna have our left leg back and we're doing reverse fly, single arm. 
alternating, okay? Left leg back, single arm reverse fly, alternating, okay? Here we go. Oh, this is tough. Pick your poison. It's actually tougher for balance to do one arm at a time. It's tougher for your uh, upper body to do two arms at a time. Come on, almost there. Rest. Oh, wow. That was the toughest one yet. Okay, we're gonna have our right leg back on this next one, and we are doing rows, okay? So pitch forward and double row, okay? Right leg back, double narrow row. Ready? Here we go. Exhale up on the row, inhale lower. Eyes on the mat. Eyes on the floor. Keep your neck in neutral alignment with your back. Almost there. Rest. Ooh, good job, okay. We have a side lunge to overhead press with a knee lift. And get my middle weight. Put the weight in your right hand. You're stepping out left, okay? Weight is right here. Step out, get the side lunge. Come up for that overhead press. Weight is at the shoulder. Side lunge, knee lift with press. That's it. Side lunge, knee lift, press, and lower. Do it again. You got this. Yes, almost there. Rest, good. All right, we're gonna get it on the other side. All right, put the weight here in your left arm. Okay, up to your shoulder. You're gonna step out right in your side lunge. Come up to balance, get that one overhead press, single arm. Ready, get set, right arm out. Let's go. Side lunge, don't touch your legs. You can do it. Don't forget to kickstand if you need a little help with balance on any of these moves. Halfway. We got this. Good news for us. This is number 10 already. We got 15 total. Rest. Great job. All right. Grab a heavy weight, just one single one, okay? We're gonna hold it here like a goblet. All right, we're gonna raise our left leg and then bring it down just to hover. Lift and lower, out to the side. All right, got some inner and outer thigh working here. Ready, let's go. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You may touch the floor if you need to. We try not to on a couple moves. Good. Control your lower so it doesn't just fall. Halfway. Great. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Elevate, elevate, elevate. Elevate your leg. Elevate your strength. Elevate your life. Rest. Good. We got it on the other side, you know we do, okay? Then we're gonna pull that chair out, or ottoman, sofa, whatever you got, bench, whatever, 
Okay. Ready for the other side. Get your weight up. Holding like a goblet. Fingertips to the sky. Right leg is moving. Ready? Let's go. Good. You're in control. This looks smooth, even though it's hard as heck. Yes. Come on, come on. 15. Almost there. One more. Rest. Good. Okay, these, these next two, we need the chair. All right. I'm going to do it sideways. You don't have to. You can use a weight or you don't have to. I'm going to hold the weight this way. I'm sticking out here, my left leg, my single leg stand up and balance, back down again, okay? One leg, keep it up, left leg up, let's go. Stand and come back down. If you need a little assistance on this, this is a really hard one, okay? You can touch your heel to the floor if you need to. Okay. Relax between each rep, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna hit that on the other side as move number 14, and we have our finisher, okay? Oh! How are we feeling out there? This is a tough one. I recommend you sit on the edge of your chair, okay? Come on, right leg out. Ready, 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 ready? Let's go. Wow. Oh, get your balance before you sit back down again, halfway. Almost there. Rest, good. All right, get the chair out of your way. You don't need it anymore. Okay, now we have squat with a knee lift, then heel lift, okay? All right, ready? So I'll use a weight for this, why not? Goblet squat. Squat, heel lift, knee lift, one minute, finale, here we go. Squat, knee lift, heel lift. Get your balance before you put your foot back down. Yeah, we're going at this for one minute. This is it though. All right, do work for the confetti. Confetti's coming. That heel lift is tough. All right, don't phone it in. All honesty on the heel lifts. Get it? Catch your balance. Put your foot back down again. 20 seconds. You can do it. Come on. Ten. And done. Nice job, everybody. Great job. Balance, strength. Woo. Good full body workout. Great for your ankle stability. Okay. Again, on all the balance moves. Don't worry if you wiggle and wobble. As long as you don't fall down, you're good, okay? A lot of times we wonder how can we elevate our workouts? I'm gonna grab a chair for stretch low body, okay? You can balance or use your chair. Let's do quad stretch. How do we elevate? You can always go deeper in your range of motion. You can always lift heavier. But there's a whole other level of elevation when you add instability, when you stand on one foot, 
when you use a balance pad, balance pod, Bosu ball, any of those things. Whole other level, right? Lots of core recruited on your balance. Lots of focus, right? So it is really imperative that we all elevate once in a while and add some balance work to our practice, okay? As we get older, it becomes even more important. You just want to prevent falls wherever possible. Glute stretch. You did awesome today. Really good, tough workout. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, Miko, great workout. Appreciate your being here. Let me know where you're from that can add you to my push pin map and go get the free plan. I think you're really gonna like it. Get fit with Ashley.com slash plans. Go ahead, let's stretch your, your calves here. Just uh, uh, toes pointed forward, heels on the ground. Other way. Good, leaning forward a little bit, heels on the ground. All right, let's get your hamstrings next. Hands here on the bent leg, raise your toe. Excellent, and we're gonna go to the other side here. Good, let's stretch your core a little bit here with some oblique stretch. Nice work today. Which move did you like the best? Which was the most challenging? Leave me a comment, let me know, I'm curious. Ah, I, think, I think for me the most challenging was probably that single leg reverse fly with the arms winging out to the side trying to stay balanced, that was tough. Shoulder stretch here, yeah. And my favorite move was probably the side lunge with overhead press, I like that, that felt good, that felt good. But overall very challenging. See how much you can accomplish in 20 minutes. Right, chest stretch here. Good. If you need a little bit more cool down, stretching dessert on top of this main course of a workout, tune into my five minute post-workout cool down stretch video. It's really nice. It's gonna give you in a five minutes of a great full body stretch, which we don't have time for here today. Thanks so much for joining in. Check me out on getfitwithashley.com. I'm Ashley and I'll see you next time.